Hello everyone, I am Adi Dev. Today we are going to talk about the unification of Italy which was from 1848 to 1871. What is the unification of Italy? The unification of Italy also known as Riso Gimonto was the was the 19th century political and social movement that resulted the collidation of different states of Italian peninsula in the single state in 1861 the kingdom of Italy inspired by rebellions in 1820s and 1830s against the outcome of Congress of the Congress of Vienna the unification process with was participated by the revolutions of 1848 and reached completion in 1871 after the capture of Rome and its designation as the capital of Kingdom of Italy. Some of the states that had been targeted for unification did not join the Kingdom of Italy until 1918 after it Italy defeated Austria-Hungary in the First World War. For this reason, historians sometimes describe the unification period as counting past 1871, including activities during the late 19th century and the First World War and reaching completion only with the armistice of Villa Gusti on 4th November 18, 1918. Now we are going to talk about the reason behind the unification of Italy. During the 1830s, Giuseppe Mazzini had sought to put together a coherent program for a united Italian Republic. He had also formed a secret society called Young Italy for dissemination of his goals. The failure of revolutionary uprisings bo both in 1831 and 1848 meant that the, the mantle now fell on Sardinia Pedemont under its rule. King Victor Emmanuel II to unify Ital Italian states through war in eyes of the ruling elites of th this region. A unite, uni, uni, unified Italy offered them the possibility of economic development and political dominance. Chief Minister Cavour, who led the movement of unifying the regions of Italy, was neither a revolutionary nor a democrat. Like many other wealthy and educated members of the Italian elite, he spoke French much better than he did Italian. The throw, through a tactful diplomatic alliance with France, engineered by Cavour, Sardinia Pedimont succeed in defeating the Austrian forces in 1859. Apart from regular troops, a large number of armed volunteers under the leadership of Giuseppe Garibaldi joined the fray. In 1860, they marched into South Italy and, to, and the Kingdom of Two Sicilies and succeeded in winning the support of the local peasants in order to drive out the Spanish rulers. In 1861, Victor Emmanuel II was proclaimed King of United Italy. However, much of the Italian population among whom rates of electricity were very high remained blissfully unaware of liberal nationalist ideology. The peasant masses who supported Garibaldi in southern Italy had never heard of Italia and believed that La Italia was Ima Victor Emmanuel's wife. Now we are going to talk about the states which are annexed to King, uh, Kingdom of Sardinia to form Kingdom of Italy. Papal state which was annexed in 1870. The Kingdom of Two Sicilies which was annexed on 1861. Kingdom of Lombardy, Venetia got annexed on 1866. United Central Province of Italy Gone annexed on 1860, territory of Venetia and Matua, which was a territory in, in the Austrian Empire, gone annexed on 18th, 19th October 1866, Duchy of Massa and 
Carrara got annexed on 1829. Now we got to talk about the problems of unification of Italy. Regional differences kept the nation from being truly united. Pope did not recognize Italy as a legitimate nation. Widespread poverty caused by many Italians to emigrate. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Make sure to put a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more videos. It's me, Adidev Metal Man.